formidable robot. I like playing games, and making games alike. For instance, I enjoyed Natural Disaster Survival. I was very inspired by the game, and I wanted to make one like it. I enjoyed playing Stop It Slender, and decided to make one like it. I basically did this until I got all good games in my develop page, never to be forgotten in the future. I am not a very good builder. My games are 97% free models, and the only non-free modeled things are colors, and stamper built things. I am also interested in mysteries and myths, but all I know is Greek mythology. I knew there was a myth in all things, like Santa in Christmas, and the Chupacabra in Mexico or something, and I wanted to study them all. I soon knew about gaming myths about strange figures lurking about, with weird things happening when they are nearby. They soon became an original, and I lost interest fast. I decided to copy even more games. When I logged in my account last three weeks ago, something caught my attention. It was on the blog post things saying, Mirror Game Review, or something like that. I never knew mirrors were possible in Roblox. You see, I was excited when I found out about reflectance, and terrain water. I always thought they could reflect my avatar, but to my disappointment, they didn't. Now, there is a mirror game. As most of us may know, it is a game with a mirror reflecting obstacle courses, and you use the mirrors to guide yourself through the long hard puzzle. I was very excited. I did everything to make a mirror. I tried putting reflectance bricks everywhere and tried using scripts to clone repeatedly, but there was no luck for me. I was a horrible scripter and I couldn't do anything. I had only one choice, which was to steal the mirrors. This plan worked like a charm. Using cheat engine and all, I was able to steal a mirror and keep it as my own personal model. With a few edits, and help from friends, I was able to make a fully functional mirror. The day after I decided to exploit, I was greeted by a man. He looked middle-aged, and he seemed smart. He was also aware of Roblox, and he was a really good scripter. His username was Cheatmaster18. He said he could make anything through scripting. I asked him if he can script a mirror, and he said he did. But as he said so, there was an upset tone in his voice. He frowned for a second before smiling sarcastically. He then told me. Don't use Roblox too much, or you can get stuck on it. I asked him what he meant, but he ignored it and asked for a coffee. After drinking, he asked for permission, and left. As he left, he looked relieved. I watched him drive away. But something happened as he disappeared over the horizon. I couldn't explain it, but I swear to all of mankind, everything turned unrealistic for a minute. What I mean by that is, it felt like I was dreaming. I wasn't light-headed at all, it just felt like nothing was real anymore. It was like we are in some sort of matrix. This feeling lasted for five minutes, before everything felt alive again. I was wrong, and we are not in a virtual reality. I then decided to play Roblox so I can get my mind off things. I am a very busy man, and I have too much damned paperwork to fill. I am very forgetful and I forget what time work is, thus causing so much bills to pay. Roblox helps release my stress, so I decided that was what I was gonna do for the rest of the day. I went on edit mode to have fun with the mirrors. I was very obsessed and I didn't know. I was playing for literally 25 hours. It felt like I was playing for only 5 minutes. Luckily, it was a holiday, and there was no work. I decided to keep playing. I mean there are only 50 papers to fill. I paused for a second, and I felt like changing my avatar. I don't know why, but it just felt like I had to. But for some reason, I was very happy with the outfit. I bought a hood, a cape, and clothes to cover my body. Even a mask. I looked quite sinister. I used this outfit to play with my friends. When I asked them how my outfit was, they were all, yes it's totally good lol. I knew they were being sarcastic, so I told them that I changed it and was happy with it. They told me nothing changed. I thought they meant that I was sinister in real life, which seemed like it was. We played a few games, and after a while we decided to play my mirror game. Don't judge, but the game was only a base plate with mirrors everywhere. 
They were really impressed by it, though it lags and sometimes it won't work for them. They admired how the mirrors copy every move. For me, it did not lag. My reflection was at 60 frames per second. Then my friends stood still for a few seconds before asking me if I added that weird figure in the background. They described a ghost-like figure wearing a cloak. They asked if we can get out of the game, and I declined kindly. I said there were many more things for me to show them. But they stood there, while walking one stud every five seconds. I said they were behaving strangely, and I decided to shut down the game. When I shut it down, it took a while till it actually shut down. I looked at the game, admired my reflection, and after a few seconds, they all left. And a second after that, the game shut down. I thought I was lagging because they left before it shut down, but they actually left at the same time, and I was not lagging at all. I thought it was just some blackout. I didn't want to leave in the first place, so I decided to play my game again. I walked about, and did some dances to enjoy how awesome my mirrors were. I sat and imagined my legacy to Roblox through my amazing creation. What I did not know was that I was there for hours. And a few hours more, I would have been playing for a whole two days. I walked into a box with walls of mirrors, just for inspiration. Then something caught my eye, a group of players joined, and they were dressed in a uniform similar to policemen. They looked like they were investigating something and I didn't know what. I tried greeting them but they ignored me. I was scared of them, and I decided to hide in the box until they were gone. They kept looking for something but I didn't know what. Maybe they were looking for the strange figure that my friends found. I looked in the chat box, and here's what I read. Person 1, what about the creator? Person 2, he was inactive for a few months now. He probably got banned. Person 1, do you have the recorder recording? Person 3, yes. Person 1, keep recording. We might find something. And keep looking, okay? Person 3, I'll go. Person 1, blank response. They kept standing there, like they suddenly went away from keyboard. I quickly hid into the box once again, in fear that I was near them. I was very afraid of policemen since I don't go to work often. I sat in the box for a while. October 30th, 2019. Roblox News. We all know that things are starting to happen here, in Roblox. We decided to hire a few active investigators to try and solve the case of the events. But more things started happening after that. Just yesterday, three of our fellow investigators disappeared, both in real life and in Roblox. They were last seen in the Mirror Maze, a game created a year ago. We tracked the IP of the creator and found his house. His mailbox was filled with bills and notes saying that he is late for work. His car was about to be town away. When we broke in, all his things looked so horribly taken care of. His dog lies in bones, and we found out the dog has been dead for five whole years and no one noticed. When we found his computer, it was still on. It had Roblox running. It was the game. The character looks like a normal player in the game, but looks like the long-feared cloaked figure through a mirror. The avatar appears to be moving realistically, with no one controlling it.